residents of this county that could not be here tonight and some that have asked me to speak that's being annexed in this phase two. I was told there was nothing you can do about this, that the town is going to do what they want and you, the citizens, cannot stop it. That is the answer 10 years ago. But a lot of the citizens here tonight wasn't citizens in Bedford County 10 years ago and had no idea about this annexation that was going tonight. You seven can stop it. Or was the statement I heard 10 years ago true? There's nothing you, the citizens, can do about this. So why can't we vote to stop phase two? It clearly states in reading 9.1 and 9.5 the three, uh, three judge panel, you may. May means permissive, not mandatory. So if you haven't used all or even most of your land in phase one, why move to phase two? Tell us what is good management with our money. How many red flags do you need to stop this? If you could show us what you've done with phase one and how you've maxed it out, I would have a different opinion. If you vote to do this, it devastates them and it devastates the working class of this county is what it does. What we can't wrap our heads around is if you know your con your community is hurting, why would you go for more to inflict more pain, more hurt, more worry, and more taxes on your neighbors? If you vote for this, what you're telling us is that we are government and we know what's best for you. Really? If you pass this, you are passing it, telling us that it's greed over your neighbor. is 88, my mother is 87. Their effective tax rate after equalization between the county and if the town annexes their property will go from $1,497 a year last year to $2,800.67. That's an 87% increase. The only service that you're going to provide, it's not sidewalks or street lights. Get real. The only thing that the town can provide my parents living just north of Bedford Memorial Hospital is the city police, town police. They're not rich. They're getting by. They dispense their medication every day of the week to keep them out of a nursing home. So if you think raising their taxes 87%, imagine if I had knocked on your door and said, you know what? You owe me $1,400. So I'm asking you, do the honorable thing, do the right thing, and vote this down. My parents were here way before this thing went down, this agreement from city to town. Honor them. Honor their service to the Commonwealth of Virginia as public school teachers. Your aversion started, have been going to the county instead of the town. A large portion of my tax dollars have been going to the county. And I feel that, you know, those dollars are not staying here in town now to pay for the things that the town needs. They're going to the county instead. Very sorry that your taxes are gonna get raised, but y'all are all, basically, we were all set up as pawns in this annexation game that was set up with the whole reversion agreement. And that's an unfortunate situation.